Terra Sensor is a compact field robot developed by a next startup called EarthSense. Yana Merch, who is the head of North America wheat breeding, is currently testing the robot on their wheat field. The robot includes self-learning algorithms to drive autonomously on the field. It also includes multiple sensors and cameras to measure and image live plants in the field. Yana and Mark, who are our weed researchers, they also collect phenotypic trait values manually in the field. We will use those as examples to teach artificial intelligence algorithm to learn from that. And in the end, we use the image data to predict trait values such as on type, plant height, as well as flowering time. It is one example of how we can use robotics, artificial intelligence, and big data to capture more insights to support phenotyping and breeding efforts. Yeah. Is Almost this, as good. Oh, as that's the treated. Time. Okay. Yeah. That's the harsh scores I gave. Due to the fact that the robot can operate continuously and independently, we'll be able to collect data on more material than we have been able to in the past. This will allow us to make more informed selection decisions, especially in our younger generation breeding nursery, where we have hundreds of thousands of individual rows, in which case it's just not feasible to collect that data. So last year's work showed that the AI model was able to accurately identify traits such as on type and heading date using plant images from our trial field. What we're trying to do this year is expand that and look at additional traits such as plant height and disease severity, and additionally verify the data and the results that we got last year. And that'll give us a better idea of how accurately the AI model is identifying and predicting these traits. So comparing robotics and humans, they each have their own strengths. The robot will be very good at providing very objective, high quality, specific trait data. But the human is required for making those subjective decisions, advancement decisions. And then there are certain things that, that our breeder's eye is required for. Of course, we're also 100% necessary to go into the field and make the selections and, and harvest the material. data provided by the robot will add precision to the decisions that the breeders make. This will help us to develop better products, which of course will directly benefit our customers, which are the farmers. Mm -hmm.